one heck right here. Now, I want to talk to you guys about Battlefield Hardline. Now, who still plays Battlefield Hardline? I've seen a lot of reports of people just giving up on it. In the forums, it's everywhere. People hate this game. Now, originally, I was an early adopter of it. Yes, I pre-ordered it. Not only did I pre-order it, I pre-ordered the premium, too. So I went all in on this game thinking it was going to be, you know, Dice Heaven, fucking Battlefield is the shit, everything. All my past experience with Battlefield has always been great from Bad Company 1 all the way to Battlefield 4. But this game just comes across as, I'm not going to say unfinished because it is really good, finished and polished, but I'm going to say that there's nothing really there. The excitement of Battlefield games has always been the fact that it's warfare. Huge maps, tons of vehicles, great sniping, great gunplay. Um, they did try to spruce it up, make it more fast paced by adding uh, shorter maps in Battlefield 3 and then Battlefield 4. So you have your team deathmatch modes. But that's what this feels like, it's just it's a team deathmatch mode. For Battlefield 4. So technically, this could have been DLC for Battlefield 4. It would save people a lot of time and a lot of money if they would just made it DLC, charge 20 bucks, and there you go. Because that's pretty much all this is. It has limited guns, limited maps, and to top it all off, the one of the key modes in this game, which is uh, hot wire cops. People don't even play it like that. It's not even played the way it should be played, where you're running from the cops, which are other people, other players. Pretty much it's just people doing Daytona USA and trying not to get blown up. Because that's it. That's all you're doing. Because of the fact that you get so many points and cash earned just by sitting in these cars as they go around, people are trying to spend the whole match in the car. So it's not really chasing them to blow them up, it's just let's stay in the car and keep circling hopefully we don't get blown up so we can just make bank on it. So it's not what the mode was intended to be. And to me I think that's very sad because it could have been something great. But not to mention that the uh, the courses are so small that having a driving thing like that is not really going to work anyway. You need something huge, like huge map to do it in. I mean, this map kind of does it, but you're still going in a circle most of the time. I mean, you can off-branch here and there, but it's not like, you know, importing a full highway system into the game and having like a real cops and robbers chase type thing. It's not that way. Now, what I would have liked to see in this, being a cops and robbers game, would be uh, mission modes. So instead of single player, you throw the single player out because everybody gets Battlefield for online anyways. The single player is whatever. It always has been. But the main thing is, if you did this multiplayer mission mode, it would have been awesome, DICE. I'm telling you. Now, this is how it would have gone. If I would have done this mode, it would have been like this. The first start starts out with you robbing the bank. So you have your team of, let's say, 6 or 12 players, and you rob the bank. Okay, and then there's a team of 6 to 12 cops that come while you're robbing the bank. And they try to get you all guys before you can leave the bank. And then if you manage to make it outside to the cars, then it goes into a car chase mode. And then if you survive the car chase mode, it will go to another mode, which would be like at the the hideout and the cops are all outside and they're trying to infiltrate the hideout that would have been cool so then you have some defend aspects and you have some assault aspects instead of just like team deathmatch every fucking mode and then nascar and one of them just just to name off some things these are just little rants i have but y'all made the same rants in the columns so i don't feel too bad about it now, I like the addition of the, the Tommy gun in the game. Um, I, I think it's good that they kept it classic without adding any sights. So all you have are the iron sights for it. 
and keeping the classy look of the Tommy gun. So I thought that was good adaptation. But other than that, there's not really much as far as weapons go. And sniping in this game is horrible. Horrible. If you get that knockout sniper rifle, pretty much you one shot kill everything. And so you don't even have to put a, a long distance scope on it because the maps aren't that big. So you just put an infrared on there and then shoot anything that, that blips. So I think that's a little OP, to be honest. And it could be worked out later on. Hopefully. Now, am I excited for Battlefield 5? Yes, I am. Am I going to pre order it premium and all? Yes, I will. <laughs> Because I am a Battlefield fan through and through, so I will stick with EA and DICE on this one. Now, my one gripe is, I hate Origin. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. Especially being in Korea, it keeps on thinking that I'm Korean, and that this is a Korean computer, so it wants me to pay in Korean money and sign in with a Korean ID. And I can't change it to US until I go back to US, I guess. So that's my biggest complaint with them using Origin. It, I think it really should be just on Steam. Put it on Steam, guys. Stop this crap with Origin. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll have more Battlefield videos up soon. So come back.